Eh, I don't know. All right, well, for those of you who were, that were uh, following me on Instagram, I gave you a, a sneak peek of this uh, accessory that I had put on the uh, 560. I guess it was yesterday. Uh, I had uh, finished up that gasket there in yesterday's video, and I just wasn't in the mood to film. <laughs> I don't know, some days I'm more in the mood than others, so I just wanted to put it together and uh, put it on the tractor and uh, not have to worry about filming, so... Um, as far as the installation, I didn't do a step-by-step. -step. I can give you an overview. So this here is the uh, three-bow uh, buggy top canopy. Um, it's actually from Snowco. Yeah, Snowco. It's a universal fit. Uh, this is the axle mount model. They make a fender mount model um, as well as a uh, roll bar uh, model. You can get the three different configurations. I had to go with the axle mount just because I don't have any fenders or roll bar. So um, it's probably the most expensive option uh, mounting it to the axle. But uh, as far as uh, the the price of the uh, canopy itself, uh, I got it on special. And they had one left in red. So <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Um, so I'll give you some of the background as to why I was looking at this maybe um, for the longest time I was looking through the internet trying to find a picture of what it would look like on a Farmall 560 uh, I wanted to see a picture uh, not so much for the looks but I wanted to see the height the width uh, how much it covers your head uh, that kind of stuff just to see um, how it would be how practical it would be as far as being a uh, sun cover over your head um, so I, I wasn't able to find anything uh, just doing some image searches through the internet and uh, just by chance um, I went on YouTube and uh, one of Big Tractor Powers videos, I think it was from 2015 or 2016, anyway he had a Farmall 560 diesel at the Half Century of Progress show um, with one of these canopies on it uh, plowing. So it's a great video, check it out if you want to see a 560 plowing uh, you can check that video out. Um, but he had a canopy on his 560, and uh, that one had the International Harvester emblem. It was white. Um, you pay a little bit more for a uh, custom cover like that. Uh, but anyway, I got to get a good sense of what it looked like. Um, and I figured that it would be all right height-wise. It would be all right width-wise, uh, mounting it to the axle here. And uh, should work out. So um, I say it a lot in a lot of my videos. Um, I don't want to be out in the sun <laughs> and it's not because I'm a wuss or anything like that uh, skin cancer runs in my family and uh, my dad's had it my granddad's had it um, so it's something I want to keep in mind that's why I wanted a tractor with a canopy that's why I have a canopy to put over that tractor um, and of course the 986 has a roof I don't want to be I'm in the sun enough so as it is um, so I, I want to try to uh, avoid as much as as much as I can so I don't know if I like it yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to get out in the field with it and see. I'm just afraid it's going to rattle around too much, uh, that it's not going to be solid enough. Um, let me get my flashlight here. I can kind of give you the... I'll do maybe another overview. If somebody's interested in one for their tractor, I can kind of show you. So I still have some things to do. This is universal. So you can see these bolts are long enough here. Uh, I have to cut them off to length. Um, then there's a rod here that goes up as like a brace to brace it to the axle. And then you have this pipe, and you have that section there, and then your top. Now this uh, does fold up. You can fold this up and fold it right back out of your way uh, to keep it out of your way. I'm wondering how the wind is gonna affect it uh, when I get out in the field uh, up on top of the hills up there. We get a windy day. I'm wondering how solid it's gonna be. Um, I don't know, I've never had one of these. I've never seen one really, uh, just in uh, on the internet. Um, so like I say, it is, a, it is something you can adjust front or back also if the sun's more behind you or front of you. There's two little like uh, levers you can pull and swing the thing back further. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. Uh, <laughs> I figure if I don't like it on here and it rattles around too much, um, it is uh, all adjustable. It is universal. I could always put it on the Farmall uh, Super C if I don't like it on this tractor. It'll fit just as well on that tractor. Um, I'm not a big fan of the umbrellas. I have uh, 
I have, have operated a tractor with an umbrella, and the problem with the umbrella is in the wind. Uh, if you've got a real windy day, that umbrella is all over the place. It's, it's more of a hazard to yourself uh, than it is a, a good sunshade. So another option, I could have got one of those uh, roll bar canopies for this. They do make them. I have seen them on 560s that it bolts to your axle, and then you have a canopy over your head. Um, that would be another option, but those are new. <clears throat> new, they're fifteen hundred dollars, and I missed one on Craigslist that sold for about three hundred bucks. I should have bought it when I saw it, but I kind of drug my feet on it. It wasn't a priority, so I left it go. So three hundred dollars would have been a good deal for that. But um, as far as the kit itself, it's not hard to put on. I did it in probably I don't know forty-five minutes to an hour. The problem is the hardware that they include, all these bolts uh, on the axles. Uh, here to tighten these braces everything it's like grade two hardware <laughs> um, I did strip one out trying to get it tight and I had to break out my uh, bold assortment and uh, supplement some of my own hardware so yeah it, it's like grade two hardware so I'm not a big fan of that um, and it's all metric too you need your metric wrenches if you want to or or just uh, adjustable wrenches <coughs> excuse me but it's on I don't know I don't know you guys can be the judge see what you think um, like I say, I'm just hoping, uh, basically if it's August and it's 90 degrees, um, I don't really care how it looks. As long as I'm in the shade and I have that over my head, uh, it's amazing the difference it makes. I know with this uh, canopy on the 685, what, when the sun was beating down and it was so hot over the summer making hay, just to be under that roof and have that breeze coming through there made a world of difference for me. Um, and I don't want to get skin cancer. I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it's in the future being the dad had it and granddad had it and uh, I'm in the sun enough. I, I really am. So I want to cut down on that. Um, I want to use this tractor a lot this, this year for hay making. Um, I want to get it on the hay bine and this is going to be on the hay bine and that'll be it. Uh, unless I'm on the hard hill, uh, that hard hill that I had, um, that you saw me, uh, I guess it was last year uh, when I was mowing, I put the hay bind on the 986 just because it's a little bit more stable on the hard hill. It's wider. Uh, I had my seatbelt on. <laughs> it's got a roll bar. And you can see you have a lot better visibility um, for like groundhog holes and stuff like that. So I don't know how this will work out, but I, I definitely want to use this on the hay bind next year. I want to make videos. Um, all of my 560 videos are very popular. You guys uh, definitely like these uh, tractors. I do too. Um, there was a time over the early winter when I was uh, debating whether I wanted to sell it or not because of uh, I didn't uh, didn't pay much for this tractor, and uh, now I have money into it now. But uh, would have been a pretty nice profit to uh, turn around and flip it. Uh, I could have probably tripled my money, but I I kind of decided against it. I uh, the more I was working on it, the more I really uh, started to appreciate it and uh, like it. And it, the fact that it doesn't have any major problems, uh, knock on wood so far, um, that makes keeping it all the easier. So um, it'll be here. <laughs> PA Farms will have a 560 diesel, um, <laughs> if not two of them in the future. Like I say, I almost bought one, the second one. Um, so yeah, it's on. Um, when we get a sunny day, I'll take it outside and uh, kind of give you the overview of how it uh, assembles if anybody's interested we'll see how it rattles around like I say if it's rattling and shaking I don't know we'll see um, like I say I can always put it on the farm all super C and uh, I don't use that tractor a whole lot but you'll still have a cover overhead so um, we're getting near the end with this now I have a couple other things I'll give you a preview I'll let you know what I have coming I have the decal kit that I ordered it's in the house I have the decals but um, this doesn't have, I mean, it has a lot of little decals. Being that it has uh, the metal tin work, all these emblems, um, there aren't a lot of decals on this tractor, but what it does have are the smaller ones. There's one here for your air cleaner. There's one for your transmission filter. Uh, one up here that says diesel. Uh, one there that says air filter. You get the point. Um, but it's not weather to put decals on. All the metal is like sweated. Everything's wet from the, the way the weather's been. Um, want to try to get a real warm day to put decals on when I know I can stick them on and they'll stay stuck <laughs> so I have uh, I know from experience I have tried to put decals on when it was a little bit humid and I ended up getting some super glue to glue them fast because they wouldn't stick so we got that project coming uh, that won't be major I'm still having trouble finding the location of where they all go 
because uh, I've been looking through some of the Red Power forums and stuff online, and I'm having a hard time finding exactly where every single decal goes. Um, but we'll have that figured out. The other thing, and somebody had just commented on this, and it was funny. Um, these oil filter cups, um, Steiner Tractor Parts makes the updated spin-on version that you don't have this cup with the... Now this, if, if it wasn't for all the leaks, um, and it's a kind of a pain to change these. Again, I know some guys want it original. They want it from the factory. Um, I understand that. But what I did, <laughs> I ordered the modern uh, up up date kit for this to put on a modern spin-on um, oil filter. Um, I see that on a lot, of, a lot of 706s and 656s. A lot of guys opted to just put a spin-on filter on. It's just a base and then you have your filter. Um, right now this ring up here is leaking and even this o-ring is leaking and uh, I'm still not sure why. <laughs> so I did this o-ring twice and it's still oozing out. So we'll see. Um, like I say, I got it from Steiner Tractor Parts. Uh, there are, like I say, I'm not loyal to just one. I know I deal, deal with all states, but I went to Steiner for that. So that's what it is. Those are the two other things coming for this tractor, and I'm thinking that might be it. So um, that's where I am with the Farmall 560. Uh, I did get the headlight for the 395. We'll put that in. I'll make a video on that uh, one of these days. Um, so we should be, should be good to go. Then I'm going to start servicing. I have to do the uh, 986. I want to change the filters and service that. I can do a series on that if you guys want. Um, well, let me know what you think of this, uh, three bow carriage top, uh, buggy canopy thing. <laughs> I don't know. I never had one before and I've never operated one with it on. I don't like the umbrellas uh, on account of the wind. So we'll see. Um, the end goal here was just to get out of the sun and to try to figure out the cheapest way to stay out of the sun. Um, something a little bit uh, more upgraded than a straw hat. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, happy Sunday to everybody. I'll get back with you Monday and uh, we'll keep working away. And hopefully the sun comes out one of these days because it hasn't been out in an entire week. So <laughs> working in the dark here every day. So thanks for watching, guys.